call your attention to the book of James. James, the fifth chapter. Read the 13th through the 17th verse. From that uh, 16th verse, it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Y'all gonna help me get through this tonight? Come on, catch somebody by the hand and look them square in the eye and announce the subject with me. Tell them, get serious and pray. Prayer, by definition, is the sincere desire of the heart. It's how we talk to God and how God talks back to us. But most of the time, we spend a lot of time telling God what we want him to hear. But we don't stay there long enough to hear what God wants to say to us. But if you're going to be what God wants you to be, you've got to talk to him and let him talk to you. Hallelujah. Prayer, prayer. Come on, everybody say prayer. Prayer is an important weapon that the saints have. All the patriots of old had a prayer relationship with God. When Joshua needed to know how to fight against Jericho, he prayed. When Moses needed to know how to lead the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, he prayed. Even in the New Testament, the disciples recognized that Jesus had an effective prayer life. Prayer, and they wanted an effective prayer. prayer Come on, life. say prayer. It is a matter of the heart. You see, most people think the only time that you're praying is when you're kneeling down on your knees. Yet that is the most uh the, the strongest way that we show humility to God. Come on, tell somebody it's a heart thing. Come on, tell them it's a heart thing. I know it's a heart thing. Some of y'all don't believe it, but I'm going to prove it by the Bible. Daniel, Daniel, that man of God who loved the Lord. The king had Daniel cast into the lion's den, and the king couldn't rest all night long. Went to the lines then the next morning because uh, he just believed that Daniel's God was going to some way and somehow deliver him. So when he got there to the lions then he said, oh, uh, thou Daniel, greatly beloved of God. Has thou God whom thou serveth continually, has he delivered you? And Daniel said, oh, king, live forever. The God that I serve. Sit down his angel and lock the lion's jaw. Hallelujah. Come on, tell somebody that's prayer. Kneeling. Prophet Isaiah goes down to Hezekiah's house. Hezekiah was laying on his sick bed. Prophet Isaiah goes into Hezekiah's house and said, God said, set your house in order. You're going to die and you can't live. Turns around and walks out of the king's room. And while he was walking down the yard, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall while laying on the sick bed. And said, Lord, it was me that tore down the idol gods. He began to give his testimony. Come on, help me preach. Tell somebody you need a testimony. Hezekiah began to tell God the things that he did. And God stopped the prophet and turned him around and said, go back and tell Hezekiah that I've heard his prayer and I've seen his tears and I'm going to give him 15 more years. Come on, tell somebody that's prayer. Laying down. James let them know that faith without works is dead. And I think we need to preach that now, Dr. Wooden, that faith without works is dead. Stop talking, young man, about you want a job and you laying in the bed until 3 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Stop talking about it. Get up in the morning. Go and find you a job. Faith without works is dead. And see, and see, sweethearts, you got to learn how to help these fellas because they, they'll, they'll get up to drive you to work. Keep your car all day. Go home and play on their Wii. Pick you up after work, driving your car. And you talking about I love him. 
James said, faith without works is dead. Put that Niagara out. And talk about I had enough, I had enough, he treat you so bad, he treat you so bad, he treat you so bad. Why are you giving him your car keys? Faith without works is then James goes on to let them know that uh I know prayer really does work. James said that uh there was a man by the name of Elijah who was uh of like passion just as we are. In other words, Elijah was a holy man, stood for righteousness and godliness, and the Bible said that when God got tired of Ahab, God says to Elijah, go tell Ahab that I'm tired of him and I'm tired of what he's been doing. Let Ahab know that he hasn't paid his water bill. And I'm going to shut off the water. I'm going to stop the water and I'm going to stop the faucet from dripping. There'll be no rain or dew. But by the word of my It's a shame today. Thank you, Jesus, that we got all these performers and no fire. All these entertainers and no fires all these gifts and no fire but i want the lord to send down the fire I told yes. you the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much after a while the bible said the fire came down burn up the sacrifice licked up the water Thank you, Lord, that was around the altar. Thank you, Jesus. Then the man of God took those prophets of Baal, killed all of them. Thank you, Lord. Then he told Ahab, get yourself something to eat. Thank you, Lord. Then he went and prayed. He prayed again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He called on God. He said, Lord, you sent down the fire. Now, Lord, I need you to send the rain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Every now and then, you need to tell the Lord to send the rain. The ground gets parched. Send the rain. You find yourself in a drought. Send the rain. When you get thirsty, I came back with his head hung down. Came back discouraged. Prophet said, what you see, boy? He said, all I saw after seven times praying, all I saw after God burned up the sacrifice, all I saw after you killed those prophets, all I saw was a cloud about the size of a man's hand. But what he didn't understand, that that was God's hand about to turn the water back on. Thank you, Lord. I don't know what you've been waiting for. I don't know what you've been praying for. But y'all can really help me now. Tell somebody, see the cloud. God is about to turn some things on in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trouble in your home. See the cloud. Trouble on your job. See the cloud. Trouble in the church. See the cloud. Sickness in your body. See the cloud. I hear. I said I hear. The sound of the abundance of rain. Come on, say, Lord, 